Dr. Saeed Shafian examines one of his patients. The disease appears to have gone. It's another success story for him and relief for his patient, Ghulam Muradi. Ghulam had suffered from vitiligo, an ailment producing loss of pigment in the skin, which left him scarred and uncomfortable being seen in public. He told me he was too embarrassed even to attend his nephew's wedding. Now Ghulam is cured. He can resume his normal life and it's only been possible through a method Dr. Shafian believes is unique, using the patient's own stem cells to replace the affected cells. It's a great feeling to be able to treat a patient with a hard-to-cure disease or incurable condition. It will bring pride and hope to all Iranians. This is where their hope is being nurtured. The scientists at the Royan Institute are at the forefront of stem cell research providing treatments that would have been impossible less than a decade ago. Iran has one of the world's most open embryonic stem cell programs. While in the United States, ethics laws restrict the use of any fetus in research, researchers here say Islamic law entitles them to experiments during the first four weeks of a fetus's development. However, according to international law, use of embryonic stem cells on humans is prohibited for now. International focus may be on Iran and its nuclear program, but one of Royan Institute's top researchers says it's Iran's groundbreaking medical research that is the real news. Nuclear technology is actually quite old-fashioned. The real cutting-edge science is stem cell research and nanotechnology. Once people see our work, our people will be proud and the world will be stunned by our scientific progress. The Institute's current projects include work on combating diseases of the skin and the body's major organs, eyesight, infertility and spinal injuries. But as international sanctions over Iran's nuclear program continue to bite here, it will be a fight to keep projects like these and people's hopes alive. Ali Reza Ronaghi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.